Hi, boys and girls, happy Wednesday. All right, we are working on 128 today. And there, today we wanna to do a three inch line segment. So get out your ruler and do a three inch, nice straight line. If your line is not straight, I want you to erase it and redo it. All right, go ahead and write your last name. a little mistake right here. Can you guys see what it is? My B and my A are just a little too close together. I want you to look back over your name like I just did and see if there's anything that you should correct. All right, go ahead and write left and right. And let's underline I3. All right. Let's take a look at the date, and we're still doing the abbreviated date this week. All right, so we learned that April is the fourth month, January, February, March, and April. So we're gonna put a four for the date, that dash. We are on the 29th day of April, and we're still in that 20th year. So the 20 will not change until after Christmas at New Year's next January. All right, and the day of the week for Wednesday, the abbreviation is just WED. All right, I would like for you to do nine tally marks. So pause the video until you have all this caught up and your nine tally marks. All right, let's check what you did. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, space, six, seven, eight, nine. See if you can work on making your tally marks the same size, about the same size space in between each one. All right, we are working on 116 today and they made a handwriting mistake. See if you can figure out what it is. Look, their belly is above the midline. All right, I'm gonna write mine first and I want you to check my handwriting and then I want you to write yours today. All right, so we're gonna fix theirs. All right, see if you can find my mistake. Are you noticing? That looks like a B. I didn't start an angle back. Remember you angle back and then curve up. So it looks like a six and not the letter B. All right, see if you can find my next mistake. The circle's too little. It needs to curve all the way up to the midline. All right, and this is the one I see the most. Make sure you're not doing this one. You're waiting till you hit the baseline and you've got like a little corner here. We shouldn't have a corner. We should start curving down a little sooner, okay? All right, go ahead and write your 116s. Pause until you're done. Just like I did, go back over your handwriting and make corrections. All right, go ahead and write even or odd. Count by threes to find your digits on the line. All right, six is in the ones place. So you should have said even. All right, all your letters should be the same size, the same height, resting on the baseline. All right, let's count by threes. Three, six, nine, 12. So you should have written 12 for the number of digits. All right, let's get those spy tools out. I'm gonna pause a minute and I want you to look for some of the spy words. All right, hopefully you found 116 and underlined E double E. All right, hopefully you found six in problem two.
We need two in problem five. Another two in problem five. All right, and that is it for our spy tools today. Go ahead and put those away. All right, so again, we're doing a graph today. Let's read the question. Go ahead and put your tracking finger and read along in your head. On Mrs. Barlow's lunch graph, oh, I missed the word eight. Maybe you guys found it. Did you find it and I didn't? Let's underline A4. Okay, let's try that again. Tracking fingers. On Mrs. Barlow's lunch graph, eight children put their tags in the lunch from home row. Lunch from home. Six children put their tags in the school lunch row. Draw the tags on the lunch graph. All right, let's pick out, let's do an orange for lunch from home. All right, so eight children put their tags on the lunch from home graph. So let's do eight. And remember that a smart student would go back and count to make sure they have eight. All right, let's get a different color. Let's have out some green. Six children put their tags in the school lunch row. Maybe they ordered lunch pail that day. Let's do six. A smart student would go back and count to make sure they have six. All right, how many more children eat lunch from home than eat school lunch? All right, so we need our red pencil. Think about where you draw your line. We draw the line where they stop being equal or even. All right, so write the number word that tells me how many more children chose lunch from home. All right, you should have written two. Okay, all right, we've got a challenge question again. How many tags are on the graph? So we don't wanna know just lunch from home or lunch, school lunch. We wanna know how many tags are on the gra graph. So we're adding, all right? So we can say we had eight kids bring their lunch plus, Six kids got school lunch. So go ahead and write that problem and solve it. And then write your answer, your number answer right here. All right, so you should have said 14. Practice your 14. All right, we are learning something new today. We are learning about thermometers. And here in the US, our thermometers are usually say, giving us a temperature in Fahrenheit, okay? You might see a little like circle with an F, okay? In other countries, they often do their temperatures in Celsius, but we are gonna be learning how to do Fahrenheit. So let's talk about the thermometer. This is kind of like a thermometer maybe mom or dad would use to take your temperature. It's a thermometer that you might have outside to see what the temperature is outside. If you have one of these outside, I challenge you to start seeing if you can read it this week, okay? All right, so normally your temperature of your body is 98 degrees. If your temperature goes above 100 in your body, you start to get a fever. That means maybe you're sick, all right? The temperature outside right now is around here. Okay, it's a little different every day. All right, we want our graph to show, our thermometer, I'm sorry, to show 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So get your red pencil, and right here where it says 30, you see there's like the longer lines? You connect those two lines in the middle. 
All right, and then you use your red pencil to color everything down below it, including the circle. But what I want you to notice is when you're coloring a thermometer, you only color this middle section. You don't color out here where the lines are. All right, so you're gonna color right there in the middle, all the way down. See if you can stay inside there, work those um, muscles in your hand and get them stronger. Okay. And, oh, and you're gonna do the whole circle down here. So I'm gonna keep coloring mine while you're coloring yours. So some things you could do is you could see if mom or dad has one of these types of thermometers and can take your temperature and see if you can see that it's up here, okay? You can try taking that thermometer and putting it in ice water and see what happens or water from the microwave that's been um, heated up a little bit. Make sure you have mom or dad's help for these things, okay? You can set it outside a really fun activity to do is to take um, a thermometer and put it outside. If you have two of them, it's even faster. But put it on a black piece of paper and set it out in the sun and see what the, th the temperature says. And then put it out on a white piece of paper in the sun. And you'll notice there will be two different temperatures. All right. I challenge you to figure out whether the black or the white is a bigger number and let me know on the Zoom call next week. Okay. All right, so what do you think the weather is outside if it's 30 degrees? Right now, we're right about here. 30 degrees is pretty cold in Florida. So 30 degrees is where we are wearing our long sleeves, our pants, our jackets. When the weather is 30, below 30 degrees here, that is when it can snow sometimes. So we don't get down this low too much in Florida because we don't have snow too much, do we? <laughs> All right, I do want you to do the thermometer problem on the back of this paper. All right, count your quarters, use your quarter cheer, and tell me how many cents this is. Don't forget the cent sign. Pause your video till that's done. All right, let's check, check it, count with me. I did those out of order. Sorry, boys and girls. All right, ready, let's count. 25, 50, 50, Make sure you did that scent sign. All right, do the quarter problem and the thermometer problem on the back. And then let's keep going. All right, number five. Maureen wrote a two-digit number on a piece of paper. So it's got two digits. She gave the children the following clues to help them guess her secret number. Maureen said, the digits I used are four and six. Write the two possible numbers. So she used a four and a six, and we don't know what order she's using them in. Write the two possible numbers she could have written. Pause until you have that done. All right, well, she could have just written the four and then the six, right? But she also could have written them in the other order, six, then four. All right, so we still don't know what her number is, but we've narrowed it down to two possible answers. Maureen said, this number is between 48 and 70. So if I'm counting from 48 to 70, which one of these would I say? Unicorn horns up. Put your unicorn horn on your answer. It should be on 64. Let's count from 48 to 70 and see if we say 64. Count with me. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. 46 would have come before 48. 
I would like for you to find 48, 64, and 70 on your 100 chart. Remember your 100 chart's right there on your name plate. And notice that 64 is between those numbers. Maybe go ahead and find 46 and see that it's before those numbers. All right, pause your video until you have these math problems done and then unpause to check your answers. All right, let's see what you put and you can make corrections. 38 minus 10, 38, 28. Remember only the tens place is changing. All right, eight plus one plus nine. You can choose any two you want to add. I'm gonna do one and nine first, but if you did eight and one, that's fine. One is friends with nine. 10 plus a number, we copy the one, we write the other number. All right, hopefully you did the ones place first. Two minus one, six, five. Eight minus two, eight, seven, six. Five minus five is zero, but do we write the zero? No, if you wrote it, that's okay. Just erase it and leave it as a six. All right, we are also doing our fact page 128 today. Um, don't forget to do the money and the thermometer on the back and see what other things you can do with thermometers this week. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.